Hi. I'm Andreas and that's part 7 of my robot arm project. This is a this is a um, update about um, the stuff what's going on the last week. As you can see, uh, the robot arm looks much cleaner now. Uh, I've started to develop our own main board and uh, some motor drivers to drive the DC motors and the encoders are now in the final design and attached to the arm. Uh, the cables are still not uh, inside the arm but uh, there's a lot of uh, progress going on to uh, fix this. Mm. I added a simple control, wireless control for the robot arm. Um, at the moment I have to move every joint um, manually so there is no kinematics uh, uh, for, for now. So um, I think you want to see uh, the arm moving. As you may see, this uh, motor is the weak point at the moment. So if I press here, uh, the timing belt snaps through the pulley and this motor is already at its limit. So I've ordered a new one uh, to replace this. And this one is a little bit slow. This will also be replaced by a new motor. Um, with the base joint I'm quite happy. Um, also the encoders features five RGB LEDs which uh, can um, display a status of the joint or whatever you want, a uh, disco mode. Moment, at the moment I can open and close the gripper. Um, and of course can hold something. Ah, the rotary base is, is still not attached and in free wheel mode. Um, and that's, that's the encoder PCB I um, designed and um, let produce. I've got a bunch of uh, 20 pieces that features on the one side five LEDs and on the back side the magnetic rotary encoder. It's an AS5045B and uh, provides a 12-bit resolution of, of absolute positioning. This is an Arduino Mega and I made a adapter uh, PCB 
this is one of the uh, I made two of these this is the second one and this can be attached to a motor driver that's designed for DC motors it's actually looking like this it's a H bridge uh, and controlled by the PWM of the Arduino uh, let's take a closer look to the encoders they uh, have a 3D printed uh, cover with a black and a, a clear inlet I published this uh, the whole encoder PCB and this part of course with this video uh, the gripper mount features uh, some a linear or axial bearing I, these are quite robust and a an hobby servo this is currently not attached uh, to the controller but it's quite a simple thing um, this small servo here is my first attempt for the tweezer mechanism of the gripper it's also not perfect I think it w works better with the version I've uploaded of the gripper overall you can see the robot arm is quite strong and um, there are some minor problems uh, for example I have um, there are some uh, problems I had to do, tighten this belt very much uh, very hard so it, it didn't snap through the pulley on this side and here you can see a lot of cracks um, I redesigned this part with a modular piece for the motors so if you're using a different kind of motor you just have to print another uh, uh, different mount for the motors and this whole part is the same I think we are looking a little bit in the CAD files so this is my new elbow joint there are the new belt tensioning systems and guide so basically you can use any kind of uh, pulley here and tension it with uh, these uh, uh, bearings I also added a new uh, system and this is this motor holding a plate here so if you use a different kind of motor you don't have to adjust the whole joint just print out uh, some different kind of motor holder uh, it looks like this way it's a quite simple part it's easy to change and should solve a lot of problems you can use with this system stepper motors or diesel motors or whatever you want um, I also use the system in this inner joint here where you can see here the motor and two gears and there will be the encoder for the this rotational uh, joint uh, I'm not quite happy with the solution because now I have two different kinds of encoders but uh, for the first prototype type uh, it have to I didn't know other solution for now so I hope I can print this part until next week and use um, some stronger motors here and for the wrist rotate with uh, joint also a uh, uh, faster motor and maybe I'm able to get uh, kinematics up and running until the next video I think that's all uh, for now I'm trying to get uh, a few problems fixed I mentioned and hopefully um, will show you next week um, the progress I made if you like the video and this whole project please subscribe my youtube channel 
so you never miss a development. I also started a Hackaday project page where you can participate on the development. I would be happy to get a little bit support, especially about the software and controlling thing. Um, and of course I'm trying to make this project as open as possible so as many people as possible can participate on this whole thing. So uh, thank you for watching. Bye.